some news. You know, we're always doing things that are usually pretty cut and dry, black and white, but this is the one night when you couldn't explain what was going on. News Channel 3, this is Missy, may I help you? Phones at News Channel 3 ringing off the hook during the night of March 8th, 1994. We probably had over 50 phone calls, and that's not usual. It just got a little bit dark out. We started receiving a couple of calls into the newsroom from people who were saying they were seeing just these bright lights in the sky and that they were moving, you know, back and forth really quick. You're watching WWMT, West Michigan's Channel 3. We went, we talked to, you know, people who had called us. I wasn't really a strong believer. I mean, I believe that there could have been something out there. But when I stepped out of here on the patio Tuesday night, it made me a strong believer. There were over about 300 witnesses that MUFON is aware of that saw various colored disks doing erratic maneuvers in the sky. Bill Konkoleski is the president of Michigan MUFON. MUFON stands for Mutual UFO Network. It's the world's largest civilian UFO research organization. Almost everything that comes into us, we can fairly reliably identify. The number can wear vary between 85 to 95 percent. Konkoleski says Michigan alone tends to get just over 200 sightings a year. We're in this to try to identify what's going on. The most interesting part about this is that 10 percent that we can identify. And we always stop at the water's edge and say, well, this is unidentified. Don't jump to conclusions but boy, is this a head scratcher. The 1994 sightings are one of the most famous MUFON has ever investigated. This giant sighting where over 300 witnesses in a particular night, including weather return and police and whole shebang, it just makes you wonder how often events of this magnitude happen and nobody's hearing about them.